Full reusability has always been Starship's ultimate goal, but Musk has now revealed a surprising variant, an expendable Starship without a heat shield designed to open new possibilities and expand its potential. So how unusual is this idea, and why would SpaceX pursue it? Let's find out on today's episode of Great SpaceX. SpaceX is making steady progress, especially with the recent success of Flight 10. Thanks to that milestone, the company is moving closer to achieving its long-term goal of full reusability with Musk indicating that SpaceX may attempt to catch a ship as early as next year. But while reusability has always been central to the Starship program, actually reaching it and then mastering it is an enormous challenge. Musk has often said that two major hurdles remain, and one of them is the heat shield. The heat shield is a critical system that allows Starship to survive re-entry and fly again. It's made up of more than 18,000 small tiles, a number that is expected to grow with future versions. The system may also include hidden elements such as ablative layers or active cooling, adding even more complexity. Manufacturing, installing, and maintaining the system is a huge effort, requiring vast amounts of time, cost, and precision. Even on Flight 10, which was hailed as Starship's most successful mission so far, the heat shield still showed visible signs of strain. On top of all this, the heat shield significantly increases the mass of the vehicle. So, what if SpaceX simply removed it? If that were the case, the rocket would no longer be reusable. But in exchange, a number of major advantages would open up. The first and most obvious benefit would be the removal of complexity. Without the heat shield, SpaceX could avoid many of the challenges in manufacturing and refurbishment. This would save cost and time, allowing faster production and deployment of Starship. But the greatest advantage would be in mass reduction. The lighter the rocket is, the better its performance becomes. With constant thrust, a reduction in mass translates directly into a higher payload capacity. And since SpaceX is already working on engine upgrades that will increase thrust, lowering mass becomes an even more powerful complement. Reducing the mass of the expendable upper stage also eases the burden on the booster. With less pressure to push a heavier second stage, the booster can optimize its role in delivering the payload while still ensuring it can return and land safely. There is another important benefit. An expendable Starship would not need to reserve fuel for re-entry or landing. That means the full fuel load of Starship could be used to push farther into orbit or carry even heavier payloads. When you combine mass reduction with maximum fuel utilization, the payload potential becomes staggering. And without the need to survive re-entry, SpaceX would no longer need to focus on challenging procedures such as heat shield durability, precision landing, or flip maneuvers. Instead, the expendable version could focus entirely on orbital operations and payload delivery, which in themselves include many difficult goals. Musk has provided a glimpse of what this could mean. He has said that the fully reusable Starship could eventually deliver about 150 tons to orbit. However, an expendable version could deliver as much as 250 tons. Looking at SpaceX's latest presentation, we see this reflected in the updated payload charts. Version 1 was listed at 15 tons, V2 at 25, V3 at over 100, and V4 at over 200 tons. These numbers are for the reusable version. Musk clarified that if Starship were to launch as an expendable version, at least 100 tons could be added to each figure. That would mean V1 could carry about 115, V2 about 135, V3 200, and V4 300 tons. That level of performance would place Starship far beyond its competitors. Even in its reusable form, Starship's payload already compares favorably against rivals. New Glenn is expected to carry around 45 tons, while NASA's space launch system is estimated at about 95. But when Starship is compared in expendable form, the gap becomes enormous, making clear the potential dominance of SpaceX's design. Some might argue that these payload numbers are theoretical and unproven, but it is worth noting that the same is true for competitors like New Glenn and SLS, which are still based on estimates rather than repeated demonstrations. So, the question now is, what do you think about Musk's idea of creating an expendable version of Starship without a heat shield? Is it a bold and practical move that could maximize Starship's potential, or should SpaceX stay focused solely on reusability? Respond with one if you believe it's reasonable, full of potential, and worth pursuing. Respond with zero if you think SpaceX should not take that path. Then, like the video and subscribe to our channel to continue following SpaceX's incredible journey. In my opinion, the expendable version of Starship is absolutely worth considering. Beyond the advantages we've already discussed, it'll also serve as a critical preparation for several major missions in the near future. The first 
and most urgent of these missions is orbital refilling, which will come right after SpaceX masters the highly anticipated ship-catching milestone. Refilling will be a turning point in the Starship program because it is the foundation that will allow Starship to travel far beyond Earth's orbit. To accomplish this, SpaceX will need to launch a large number of Starship tankers, each carrying fuel to replenish the main Starship already in orbit. Since the sole purpose of these tankers will be to carry as much fuel as possible, there's no need for them to return to Earth. In that sense, they can be considered expendable versions, similar to the Starship S-26 that SpaceX has already built without a heat shield or aerodynamic flaps. In addition to these external differences, the tanker variant will likely undergo significant internal modifications. Most importantly, the fuel tank will be expanded, potentially all the way into the nose cone, which is normally reserved for payload. This adjustment would greatly increase efficiency, allowing each tanker to deliver more propellant. With greater efficiency, SpaceX could reduce the number of tanker flights required, which would simplify logistics and speed up mission preparation. This innovation is a key enabler for extending Starship's range. Because of its sheer size, Starship consumes a massive amount of fuel just to reach orbit. So by the time it arrives, it typically has little fuel left for onward travel. Refilling in orbit solves this limitation. With enough fuel stored on board, Starship will be capable of traveling to destinations such as the Moon, Mars, and even beyond. Many people consider the refilling process complex, but once perfected, it'll unlock Starship's true potential. Its vast capacity will allow it to carry more people and more cargo than any vehicle in history, a decisive advantage at a time when humanity is preparing not only to explore, but also to exploit resources and build new civilizations in space. Musk has already set a clear target for this milestone. He has stated that SpaceX aims to conduct several refilling attempts next year with the Starship V3. The V3 version will maintain the same height as the current V2, but it's expected to include upgrades that will allow it to carry more than 100 tons of fuel. Based on this timeline, many analysts predict that the first demonstrations could occur in the middle or later part of next year. That that means the prototypes of these tanker variants will need to be constructed very soon in order to be ready. Another mission that highlights the importance of an expendable Starship design is the Starship HLS, which will serve as the human landing system for NASA's Artemis program. According to current plans, the HLS version will not return to Earth. Instead, its job will be to receive astronauts from their spacecraft in lunar orbit, bring them safely down to the surface of the moon, and then return them back to orbit so they can transfer back to their spacecraft for the journey home. Unless there are future plans to repurpose the HLS into a semi-permanent base on the moon or as a way station in lunar orbit, the vehicle will remain expendable by design. Furthermore, it does not require a heat shield at all because the moon has no atmosphere. This makes the HLS a very specialized Starship variant. It'll feature a white outer shell, solar panels, thrusters optimized for lunar landings, and a payload bay tailored for astronauts and their equipment. In terms of schedule, SpaceX will need at least two prototypes in the near future. The first will be used for the uncrewed demonstration landing, and the second will be prepared for the official crewed mission. Both will need to be ready by the middle of next year at the latest to remain on track with Artemis timelines. While SpaceX has revealed very little publicly, with only rare glimpses of the airlock and interior payload sections, President Gwyn Shotwell has expressed confidence that the Starship HLS will be ready in time for Artemis 3, currently scheduled for 2027. The expendable Starship variants, whether as tankers for refilling or as specialized lunar landers will play a central role in SpaceX's roadmap. They are not a step backward from reusability, but rather a deliberate adaptation to meet the requirements of specific missions. By removing the need for a heat shield and simplifying their design, SpaceX is making it possible to carry more fuel, more payload, and to reach destinations that reusable versions cannot yet achieve. So, stay tuned because these expendable starships may be the very vehicles that push humanity farther than ever before. But with that all said, no matter how exciting the potential of an expendable starship may appear, SpaceX will always place its highest priority on reusability. This philosophy has guided SpaceX from the start and remains central to Musk's vision of space travel. The challenges are immense, developing a reusable heat shield, surviving the fiery return through Earth's atmosphere, and balancing protection with mass. Yet the payoff outweighs their hurdles. Unlike traditional upper stages, little more than disposable boosters, Starship's upper stage is a complete spacecraft. 
Discarding such a machine after one flight would be an enormous waste of time, material, and money. Reusability is the clearest path to affordability and accessibility. It's what enabled Falcon 9 to dominate the industry with record cadence and rapid turnaround. Starship aims higher. Dozens of launches per day with Super Heavy turning around in hours and ship in days. Such tempo could slash costs, reduce production strain, and make sustainable lunar and Martian bases possible. Even on Earth, it could unlock point-to-point -point transport of cargo and passengers at unprecedented speed and scale. By contrast, an expendable Starship may serve near-term needs with higher payload and simplicity, but it can't rival the transformative potential of reusability. This is the distinction that sets SpaceX apart, not just proving rockets can be reused, but making reuse the foundation of a future where access to space is routine, affordable, and limitless. In short, SpaceX is still in the process of perfecting Starship. Among the many paths forward, an expendable Starship is a pragmatic way to maximize performance for specific missions, urgent orbital refilling demos, and Artemis lunar crew delivery, chief among them. Crucially, this isn't a pivot from SpaceX's core vision. It's a tactical option, not a strategic replacement. The North Star remains full reusability, rapid turnaround, high launch cadence, and radically lower costs. An expendable variant simply broadens the toolbox where the reusable fleet matures. So we watch Starship evolve step-by-step step toward a versatile system that can meet near-term milestones and ultimately carry humanity beyond Earth. In any case, folks, this has been Kevin with great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Thank you so much for watching and always remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.